in this lecture we will learn about an algorithm to build a heap data structure from a given array so our aim is to build a heap okay heap from given array okay and we will see how to do it in o of n time okay so our aim will be to perform that building of heap in o of n time okay so we will see that so we can use max heapify okay so max heapify was the function that we wrote to make a heap follow the max heap property in which the parent's value is more than both its left and right child's value okay so in order to maintain the max heap property we run max heapify for that particular node okay so now the thing is we can use that function max heapify in bottom up manner to convert array 1 to n so given n elements in that array so we can convert that array into a max heap okay in o of n time so before we do that let's have some observations okay so what we see is that if given an array of num n numbers and we construct a heap from it so we will find that the elements a n by 2 plus 1 a n by 2 plus 2 a n by 2 plus 3 till a n are all leaves in the heap data structure okay and the reason behind this is that we know that in a heap that any node with index n by 2 floor okay greater than n by 2 floor will have left child and right child their indices that are greater than n so they will not come in the heap so all the nodes with indices greater than n by 2 floor of n by 2 will have no children and hence they will be the leaves okay so this is an important observation so all the elements a n by 2 plus 1 a n by 2 plus 2 and so on till a n they are all leaves in the heap okay so we will see with one example also if this is an array okay so given an array and we have n is equal to 9 elements 5 3 17 10 so these are the elements 9 elements are there so what happens we construct a heap so the thing is in a heap a node with index i so it has his left child index will be 2i and right child index will be 2i plus 1 and parent of i is i by 2 floor okay so these are the properties so if you want to refer to this you can see the previous lecture of heap and heap sort so what happens is so in we can see in this heap also so we make 5 is in the first index 2 3 is its child 17 is its right child 10 84 so we see that okay let's see this one 4 so node with index 4 has value 10 and its left child which is 22 has index 8 and 9 note this one has index 9 okay so these are the left and right child so 4 into 2 is 8 and 4 into 2 plus 1 is 9 and for this one let's say this is the node and to find its parent so we will do just 5 by 2 floor which is 2 so we see that index of this node 5 parents is 2 so now the thing is in this if we construct heap from this array where n is equal to 9 so we say that from 9 by 2 floor which is floor of 
ओके सो दिस इज फोर सो आफ्टर नोड विथ इंडेक्स फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन दे आर ऑल लीव एंड वी कैन सी हियर ऑल्सो इंडेक्स नोट फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन आर ऑल लीव वाई बिकॉज इन इफ सेवन इफ इट इज हैज चाइल्ड सो इट्स चाइल्ड विल बी सेवन इंटू टू फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन बट वी सी दैट ओके वी हैव ओनली नोट स्टिल नाइन सो दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन होल्ड्स ट्रू नेक्स्ट वी सी द प्रोसीजर देन इज जस्ट वॉट सो फॉर द लीव इट इज फाइन वी have no children so max heap property will be satisfied for each of these leaves okay so because they have no child so max heap the parent is always greater than the child okay so max heap property let's just revise so it is the value of a parent of i okay is greater than a of Equal to a of i, okay. So parents' value is always greater than the child value. So you can see. So now what happens? So we have to what we have to do, and max heap phi was the function that used to incorporate incorporate this property at each of the nodes. We call it for, okay. So now the thing is, these nodes are fine. I do not have to. Again, see the maxi property for them because they are already they have no children, so it is being followed. But for nodes which have children, so we have to go in bottom up manner. So from node four to three to one, we have to check that each node is satisfying the maxi property. Okay. So that's what we have to do. So it's a simple algorithm. So the procedure build maxi. we run it through to so through all the remaining nodes in the heap and run max heap phi on each one so build max heap a so heap size is equal to length of a okay and then for i is equal to length of a by 2 because this is and floor so this is the node which has leaves and i is greater than equal to 1 till that so we call the function map max heap phi ai okay so now let's see this thing with this particular example okay so what we do so let's clean this a bit and try out okay so we will try the example here so run max cp5 a comma i for i is 4 3 2 1 okay so we will in decrement i and we will start from the first node which has children so now let's see what happens so what happens is we will start at this node so we see that okay node 4 has so this has left child as 22 right child 9 so we see that he max he property that parents value should be greater than the child is not satisfied so what we do we swap the max value of among the children and with the parent node so what we do so 22 we swap with 10 okay so 10 comes here and 22 goes there so now this node 4 is satisfying the max c property because that value is greater than both its children so now we go to node 3 so at node 3 we find again 17 and it's less than 19 okay so what we do so we now again max of these we replace with the swap with the parents value so this becomes 19 and 17 we swap so this becomes 19 this is 17 so now again the max c property is satisfied and we swap the parents value with the maximum of children because that way it will satisfy the max c property now what happens node 3 is done so we come to node 2 and again at node 2 we see that okay value of parent is 3 and its left child and right child both are greater than 3 so we again take the maximum value of the child node and it's 84 so we swap it with 3 so 
this 184 and 3 we swap so this becomes 84 this becomes 3 and in fact in this max hp5 so if again this property was not getting satisfied here so it would have percolated down but as this node has no children so it's not going down so now let's see we are done with node 2 we come to node 1 and here we can say that percolation will go deep down so what happens at node 1 we see so 5 the parents value is less than its left child and right child both we choose the maximum among them and swap okay so 84 and 5 will be swapped 84 and 5 so we swap them so 84 and 5 we swap so again but this percolation now it has created a problem at node 2 so because 22 is greater than 5 so we again make a swap and so it will be 22 and 5 are swapped so 22 and 5 so now we come to node 4 and again we see that max property is not satisfied here so we swap with max of the children which is 10 so 10 and 5 get swapped here so 10 and 5 and now because it has no children so this is done so we see now that okay so now we are done for node 1 also so it is now following the max heap property okay so max heap property is getting satisfied here and what happens is now we will look at the running time okay so we understood the procedure that what it is doing the build max heap so now we will try to find its running time so one thing as we know that okay the max heap heapify which sees the which corrects the heap max heap property for a given node i so this can maximum if the height is for a given node is log of n okay if n nodes are there so we see that running time simple upper bound is max heap if i cost us o of log n time okay and there can be maximum of o n such calls there can because there are maximum of n nodes and of course there are some leaves also so maximum it will be o of n such calls hence running time upper bound is o of n log n that's correct but it's not very accurate we can in fact find a tighter bound okay so what is that tighter bound so that is we see two properties running type or running time of max cp5 depends upon the height of the node okay so if the height of the node of that given heap is h then the running time for max cp5 for that node is o of h okay this is one important property so if the height is small it will take lesser time to do max cp5 so that also we can see if this was the node so its height is just one so it will just check once and swap maximum of one time this node's height is two so two times calls can be made because height is 2 so 2 swaps took place here at maximum can take here the height is 3 this is 1 2 and 3 so here 3 swaps could have taken place 84 could have percolated here somewhere and this could have created problems so again swapping with its children this node would have got problem it would have swapped with the parent okay so these 3 swaps could have occurred so that we can say that the number of swaps is o of h okay the max cp5 running time and at most in at any given height h in a heap there are at most n by 2 to the power of h plus 1 nodes are there okay so if we see these two properties so what happens the running time becomes so oh is the time taken for max cp5 to run for the nodes at height h plus 1 and we know that okay the maximum height for given n nodes will be log n and the minimum height will be 0 so for all the leave nodes it will be h is 0 and for the root it can go up to log n floor okay so we multiply these 
2 and sum for all the nodes. So this is n by 2 to the power of h plus 1 oh. So we can simplify it and write n and h by 2 to the power of h and we bring the summation here. Now this summation we just try to simplify so h is equal to 0 to infinity h by 2 h is 2. So this you can try out this mathematics. So this is a simple summation so summation is so 0 plus 1 by 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 by 2 square plus 3 by 2 q plus 4 by 2 to the power of 4 5 by 2 to the power of 5 if you do the summation like this it will come out to be 2 okay so we will not go that deep but it can be a arithmetic or geometric series and you can do that okay so now the thing is this is we had the bound till log n but i said that okay we can take it till infinity so it will become o of this so o of n h to 0 to log n h by 2 h will be o of n and now we sum up till infinity so this will be always this is less than this and hence now this is 2 so this will be o of 2 n which is equal to o of n okay so we see that okay the running time complexity of building a heap from a given array is o of n okay so this way we see that okay a heap data structure can be created from a given array in o of n time 